Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today's topic in Conservative Dentistry is GIC or Glass Anoma Cement. Glass Anoma Cement is gaining a lot of popularity among the clinicians nowadays because of its two wonderful properties. One is a direct bonding, that is it bonds to the tooth structure by chemical bonding. We know the amalgam restorative material which needs a lot of cavity preparation and it needs 90 degree butt joint but this is direct bonding so it requires very minimal preparation and the second property is the fluoride release as we all know the fluoride can prevent caries so the restorative material itself can attribute to caries prevention so let's learn GIC in detail So glass anoma cement is a tooth colored material introduced by Wilson and Kent in 1972. So the material was uh, based on the reaction between two things. One is glass particles that is silica or silicate glass particles and that is a powder and polyacrylic acid so they bond chemically to the tooth structure and release fluoride for relatively very longer period so it was introduced by Wilson and Ken in 1972 basically it has got glass silicate glass particles and polyacrylic acid so the classification so it is an all-in-one cement it has got many uses in dentistry the type 1 is looting cement it can be used for looting then restorative cement then type 3 is liner and base cement type 4 is fissure sealant type 5 is ortho bracket cementation and type 6 is core buildup so you can see A to Z function as a restorative material or as a cement so the composition so as I said it has got silicate glass particles and acid the powder includes or it is we can say acid soluble calcium fluoro alumino silicate glass so the powder includes silica 42% alumina around 29% aluminum fluoride around 1.6 calcium fluoride 15.7 then sodium fluoride 9.3% aluminum phosphate and 3.8% so this fluoride portion act as ceramic flex and strontium barium or zinc oxide provide radio opacity whereas the liquid so polyacrylic acid in the form of copolymer with itraconic acid and malic acid and also we have tartaric acid which improves handling characteristics and also increase the working time and we have water which is a medium of reaction and hydrates the reaction products so the setting reaction setting reaction when we mix the powder and liquid what happens is so this is the glass okay this is a glass particle it is a silica glass particle so when the powder and liquid are mixed the surface of the glass particles are attacked by acid okay so there will be acid attack so what happens is Calcium, aluminium, sodium, fluoride ions are leached into aqueous medium. So if this is the medium, so there will be release of calcium, aluminium, sodium, fluoride into the aqueous medium all the glass particles all this will be released 
so calcium poly salts are formed first okay then followed by aluminum poly salts which cross link with poly anion chain so the set cement which consists of unreacted powder particle surrounded by silica gel in amorphous matrix of hydrated calcium and aluminum poly salts so this calcium poly salt is responsible for the initial set and aluminum poly salt for the it forms a dominant phase and water plays a very important role in structure of cement and after hardening fresh cement is extremely prone to the cracking and creasing due to the drying of loosely bound water hence uh, the cement must be protected by application of varnish or vaseline we used to apply vaseline or the uh, newly created restriction so the setting time setting time is for the type 1 it is 4 to 5 minutes and for type 2 it is 7 minutes and its basic properties compressive strength that is 150 mega pascal but in recent time the compressive strength of gas is so much improved because of the newer technologies or newer introduction of other materials which is combining with gas and improving this compressive strength almost as similar as our amalgam so this is 150 megapascal tensile strength is 6.6 megapascal and hardness is 49 kh that is no hardness number so regarding the solubility and disintegration okay solubility and disintegration solubility so initial solubility is high due to the leaching of intermediate products so the complete setting reaction takes place in 24 hours so cement should be protected from saliva during this period so we used to ask the patients who get this restriction done to try to avoid the or try to avoid the contact of water in that particular area so to prevent that we used to apply vaseline and what about the adhesion that is a unique property of gac because glass aroma cement bonds chemically to the two structure bonding is due to the reaction occurs between carboxyl group okay carboxyl group this is of acid okay carboxyl group of acid it reacts with the calcium okay so this is minus this is plus calcium group of our hydroxy apatite so these two will be chemically bonding so this is from the cement and this is the calcium of our enamel so bonding with enamel is higher than that of dentin obviously because enamel has higher mineral content so regarding the aesthetics that is gac is tooth colored material and available in different shades but it is definitely inferior to composites composite has got excellent finish the gac uh, it lacks that translucency so it cannot be uh, that much uh, recommended to the anterior teeth okay and it has got rough surface texture and there is potential for discoloration and staining regarding the bio compatibility it has got good bio compatibility that is pulpal response to gac cement is favorable and it is mild uh, basically due to the high buffering capacity of hydroxy apatite and large molecular weight of polyacrylic acid which prevents entry into dentinal tubules okay the large molecular size of acid so it cannot prevent the 
tentennial tubules and the anti cariogenic properties that is the most important one anti cariogenic properties because of its fluoride release so initially it has got a uh, large amount of fluoride release but uh, later it will be so if we take the fluoride release it is like this so there is initial exponential phase where high amount of fluoride is released then it is going in a flat phase but the thing is when we apply sodium fluoride or any other type of fluoride this gac will take up the fluoride ions and it act as a reservoir so next is a manipulation how do we mix this manipulation so the enamel and dentin uh, should be first cleaned and uh, should be swabbed with polyacrylic acid for 5 second then after conditioning two surface should isolate then we need to mix the powder and liquid by 3 is to 1 ratio so the first increment is incorporated rapidly to produce a homogeneous milky consistency then mixing is done in folding technique that is folding method so this is the folding method it is done to preserves the gel structure preserves gel structure okay if we do proper folding the gel structure won't be disturbed so the finished mix should have a glossy surface and it should be uh, protected from water by using a vaseline or varnish and the final finishing can be done after 24 hours so the main advantages are the excellent adhesion that is a chemical bonding to the tooth good marginal seal anti cariogenic property biocompatibility and minimal cavity preparation required whereas the disadvantages low fracture resistance low wear resistance water sensitivity and less aesthetic compared to composite and the uses uses the classification itself gives the various uses that is it can be used for luting core build up for eroded area mainly for class 3 class 5 restoration orthodontic bracket adhesive for a traumatic restorative treatment for lamination or sandwich technique now let's learn what is sandwich technique so sandwich technique it's a commonly asked question sandwich technique so sandwich we know there is there should be two materials so here we have gac and composite so if this is a tooth and this is the cavity okay so what we are going to do is we are going to place two materials okay so it is developed by maclean so it combines the beneficial properties of gic and composite so after cavity preparation condition the cavity to develop good adhesion with gic then place type 3 gic into the prepared cavity so this is our gic so after setting etch the enamel and gic okay so we need to etch both the enamel so this is the enamel and gic so we are going to do etching because composite needs etching and bonding agent it is not like direct bonding so we need to etch the cavity and gic so for using ortho phosphoric acid we etch the cavity for 15 seconds so this will improve micro mechanical bond to composite resin then we apply a thin layer of bonding agent because composite a uh, placement requires a prior bonding agent then only the mechanical bond will be happening 
and finally place the composite resin over the GIC. Okay, so here we apply the composite and using a curing light we cure the restoration. So deeper section, uh, deeper section it has GIC and above it has composite. So this is the sandwich technique. So the advantages of sandwich techniques are polymerization shrinkage is less due to the reduced bulk of composite because we are not using completely composite. If it is completely there will be polymerization shrinkage and favorable pulpal response because GIC is near to the pulp. Chemical bond to the tooth. We have a chemical bonding here and anti cariogenic property with GIC, better strength, finishing, aesthetics of overlying composite. So we are keeping GIC towards the pulp. We have good pulpal response with respect to GIC and good aesthetics with respect to composite. So on towards the occlusal side we have composite and towards the pulpal side we have GIC. And we have few modifications with respect to GIC. So modifications are so modifications of GIC. The first one is water settable GIC. So water settable GIC. So the main problem of conventional GIC was its water sensitivity. It is so much a uh, problem uh, facing with water. The water has to be kept away from it during the setting reaction. So this water settable GIC liquid is delivered in a freeze dried form which is incorporated into the powder. Liquid used is a clean water. Okay, so liquid is providing as a freeze dried form. So the second one is resin modified GIC. It consists of that is a powder consists of uh, the ion leachable fluoramino silicate glass particles and a initiator for light curing. Whereas the liquid consists of water, polyacrylic acid with methacrylate, hydroxy, ethyl methacrylate monomer. It has got good uh, strength that is the strength is improved with the resin modification. Similarly, metal modified, metal modified GAC. So glass ionomer uh, have been modified to addition of filler particles to improve strength, fracture, toughness and resistance to wear. So it has got silver alloy mix which is known as Miracle Mix. So it is uh, made by mixing of spherical silver amalgam alloy powder with glass ionomer powder. And with and the next one is cement. Cement is a bonding of silver particles to glass and armor particles by fusion through high temperature sintering. Okay. High temperature sintering process. That is cement. And the last one is compomer. Okay. Compomer. Compomer is composite resin that uses an ionomer glass which is a major component of glass ionomer as the filler. So small quantity of dehydrated polyalkenoic acid incorporated with filler particles. So setting reaction is by light activation. So adhesive system used with compomer is based on acid H found with all composite resin. So compomer is nothing but a composite resin which uses the ionomer glass which is a major component of glass ionomer. Okay, so the small quantity of this polyalkenoic acid incorporated with filler particles and the setting reaction is by light activation and adhesive system used with compomer is based on acid H found with all composite resin. So that is uh, all about GIC, glass ionomer cement. 
so we learned its classification its composition setting reaction manipulation advantages disadvantages uh, modification and also sandwich technique so sandwich technique can be asked as a short note so hope you understood this very basic uh, topic so i'll come up with a new topic in conservative dentistry thank you